There's been some controversy around Gary Vaynerchuk, AKA Gary V, about the message that he's sending out there, which some would deem as hustle porn. And in this video, we're gonna dispel these myths and talk about how we can all improve our lives. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, something that I like to do is pull different topics from pop culture and try to see what lessons we can pull from them. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So Gary Vaynerchuk is a man that I've been following for the last couple of years since I really dove into YouTube and social media and everything like that. And I've made videos about him in the past where like he's kind of like, this like motivation like fill up, right? Like when I start getting into like self pity or laziness or whatever it is, I turn on some Gary V and like the message that goes into my head is like get off your ass and go do something, right? So something that Gary V talks a lot about is hustle, okay? Something else that he talks about which we're gonna be touching on in this video is self-awareness, okay? But he talks about hustle, go out there, work hard, work hard, do this, work hard, work hard, work hard. and. A lot of people have been deeming this as hustle porn and how it's unhealthy, especially when there's a conversation in the YouTube community that's been going on for the last, you know, year, year and a half when um, Elle Mills talked about being burnt out and a lot of people are saying like, oh no, Gary Vee's promoting this unhealthy lifestyle and that could not be further from the truth, okay? So there was actually an article that came out that got a lot of views on it. It was a Medium post and it was talking about Gary Vee and hustle porn. And that author actually talked to Gary Vee and he ended up making a follow-up article about Gary Vee and the message that he's putting out there. And here's the thing, and this happens with so many people out there, is that a lot of people don't get the full context of a person, right? Like, for example, hell, I'll use myself as an example. I have over 900 videos. Over 900 videos, you would have to be a very loyal subscriber to see all the videos I've made, see my views on things, my opinions on things, you know, and, and get a very well-rounded view of me. But if you take certain clips or whatever, like I might look a certain type of way. Same thing with Gary Vee. He does something called uh, Daily V, where he posts videos every single day, right? And he does a lot of other content on all social media platforms. And if you don't get the full view of Gary Vee, yeah, it does sound like he's promoting this unhealthy lifestyle that can lead to burnout. Like, if you take certain clips of Gary Vee, he talks about how he wakes up early, he stays up late, he's constantly working, work, work, work. If you look at him building up, you know, his company, he talked about in the early days he would stay up all night long on, you know, like Twitter replying to everybody and all sorts of stuff, right? So if you just take those, if you take those clips and look at that, you think, huh, this guy is trying to burn out the next generation and telling people to work until you lose your mind and you can't function anymore. And that's not the truth. So Gary Vee is somebody who's big on self-awareness. And some one of my favorite quotes from Gary Vee is that he talks about he's trying to suffocate your excuses. So the first thing that we need to realize about Gary V, the biggest message that he's sending out there is, you do you, baby, you do you. So what he's talking about is like, if you're okay, if you're okay working a nine to five job and that's, that's happiness for you, if you're okay making a certain amount of money each year and that's making you happy, if that's giving you the work-life balance that you want where you get to spend this much time with your family or your friends or whoever it is, he's like, do it, okay? But he's sending a message to people who want more and feel entitled to it without doing any of the work. And that is an issue that we see in society as a whole. I. I see so many people, and I used to be one of those people, where I just expected everything to be handed to me, right? I would sit back, like Gary Vee's talking to people like who I used to be, right? I used to sit back and just think about all the things that I wanted, but I expected them to be handed to me. Or I thought about how much easier everybody else had it than I do. And, and something that I realized is that this world and its people don't owe me a damn thing. If I want something, I gotta work for it. Yeah, my path might be harder than other people's, but that's okay, that's my path and that's my journey. But so many of us sit around looking at other people's paths and other people's journey and thinking that it should be the same for us. So if, if you're somebody who's okay with your work-life balance, guess what? Gary V isn't talking to you. He is not talking to you, okay? 
he is specifically talking, when he's talking about hustle, he's talking to the people who want more and are making excuses. So like, I think this is a major issue too. Like a lot of people don't realize it because it's happening on a subconscious level. And let's be real, a lot of people do not want to get honest with themselves. A lot of people hate getting honest with themselves. Like, People want to look at, you know, YouTubers or other people, like maybe like uh, corporate CEOs or whatever, and look at all the vacations that they get and all this other stuff. And they want to make an excuse for themselves like, oh, I don't got to work that hard and I can get these things, right? And like a lot of people don't want to admit it. And I don't, I think that's why a lot of people get upset at Gary V because Gary V is conflicting with their own head and their own excuses. Like something that I get all the time, all the time is people saying how much I work, how much content I put out, all these other things. And I, I just cannot get it through to people. Some of you realize it, but I can't get it through to everybody. Like, you guys, if you, if you had a camera on me for the day, I work less than most of you out there and you don't even realize it. Yes, I know that I can spruce up my content and do more editing and things like that, but I, on a video, like recording this video to editing and uploading, it's gonna take me maybe an hour. Maybe an hour, YouTube thumbnail, doing all the SEO, title, description, tags, takes me maybe an hour, sometimes two hours if I put in some more editing, some more like clips or pictures and things like that, maybe two hours, okay? So if I release three videos in a day, that is six hours of work, six hours out of a 24 hour day, all right? And I feel, like when people see me hustling and doing my thing, when they're saying, oh, you put out too much content, you do this, you do that. Yeah, for some of you, I get that it can be annoying, right? That I put out so much content. But like, when you're looking at that, like, I'm not going to justify your excuses for maybe why you're not working that hard. You know what I mean? But like, I, I've mentioned this in a video I did a long time ago about the YouTuber burnout myth. Like, I don't want to take this opportunity that I have, especially when it's something that I love and that I'm passionate about, is getting a message out there to the world. Like, I would feel like it's a slap in the face to people if I didn't work as much as all of you. But the thing is, a lot of people just are terrible with time management. I'm still terrible with time management. I've just started utilizing a calendar. But something Gary V talks a lot about when it comes to self-awareness is to recognize how much time you are actually wasting, right? How much time are you wasting on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook, all these things where you could be doing something that is helping you pursue your passion, pursue your goals, pursue your dreams, but you're wasting it on Twitter, right? Like, I see this constantly. I, I have seen people, like, I know that, you know, I, I talk to a lot of people, but like, I remember a lot of people. I see people who have told me about how they want something more for themselves, right? They want something more. But like, every time I go on Twitter, they have like 50 new tweets. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing, right? And I, like, again, I think that's why people don't like the message that Gary Vee is putting out there. But like, to say, to say that he's promoting an unhealthy lifestyle is absolutely ridiculous. Like, all of us function differently, and especially when it comes to our sleep schedules and things like that. Um, Kevin Hart was just on the Joe Rogan podcast. Kevin Hart is another person who's very inspirational if you wanna just do something and he talks about how he functions off of like five to seven hours of sleep right if you need more than that that's you but Gary Vee is talking about the other people who don't who 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 need less sleep right and they can do more they can accomplish more or they're willing to sacrifice something in the short term to build something for the long term right like something Gary Vee talks about is the clouds and the dirt you know what I'm saying and like we have to put in that work to do something. Like, you guys, I was working in a treatment center for a little over three years. I quoted Gary Vee to him all the time. Like, do you know how many excuses like our brains create for just even our own mental health or addiction recovery? I was in a treatment center with people who are literally dying. They are dying from the disease of addiction and they're making up excuses about why they can't go to therapy. They're making up excuses about why they can't go to 12-step meetings. They're making up excuses about why they can't do this, right? And like, basically in, in addiction, something that we teach people is if you put in even half the effort that you did into your addiction, 
like into your recovery, you're gonna be fine. Because for a lot of people, addiction is 24 seven, right? So if you even put just like a little bit of that effort. So like, I think a lot of what Gary Vee is saying is like, change like change your effort and your energy like think about it for one second just one second like if you're at a job that you absolutely hate right now if you took some of the energy that you use binge watching netflix when you're getting home when you get home scrolling through social media if you took some of that effort some of that energy and focus it on your own passion or something that you want to do or a business that you want to build think about that if you just transfer that time and that energy somewhere else think about where you'll be in a year or two years all right so anyways this is something that i've been meaning to talk about a long for a long time because even though the original author of the um the article about gary v like made a new article a lot of people still think gary v is promoting some healthy unhealthy lifestyle but if you're somebody who wants to live in the problem and live in the excuses you do you but if you want to build something and you realize how much time and energy you're wasting on dumb stuff, like go check out Gary V, tune into him daily and build up some motivation to do what you love to do and get your passion out there and start living the life that you deserve, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. I work hard at this thing, all right? And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron and support the channel, you can click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.